Hello and welcome to our next video. Today we have a Maximus 9 hero mainbot from Republic of Gamers which is Asus. This is a monstrosity, almost doesn't fit on my desk. Let me get this package out, the mainbot out of the package and let's see together. So this bot came to me because of a VGA LED. So I guess this thing uh, somewhere has post LEDs that I cannot find right now. I only see, oh, there they are, yeah. They are right here beneath the the postcodes. Yeah, so this thing is really packed. This has also start buttons. This has pr probably, no, a mem okay button. Very, very cool main board, I got to say. It has a lot of um, input outputs and probably everything you would want on a main board, at least back from that age. Because this is quite old, this is 6th and 7th gen Intel. So this has been through quite some some use probably or quite some time. But let's get this build up and let's see how this one will behave. We will be starting with the integrated graphics of the processor that we're going to put in here. And while trying to build this up, I noticed at least a single pin that looked off. As you can see, this pin right here doesn't look like it is where it's supposed to be. And now we got it a little bit closer to its actual destination where it should be. And this should be fine now. Yep, now I think that pin is okay. There's one more thing that I see. Okay, this is probably just the dirt on this pin that I saw. Yeah, it's just dirt. And I think the rest of the slot looks good. So we have that small thing taken out of the way. And now I will build this up for real. And now we are built up. We have a G4400T in there. It's a 6 to 7 Intel, uh, gen Intel. We have one stick of DDR. And the important thing for you guys is going to be the postcodes right there at the top and the post LEDs. They start from the very left from CPU and going to boot on the right. And let's see how this behaves, how the current consumption is going to be. Let's turn the power supply on. And that is first very little and then a lot. That is not, oh yeah, that is very bad actually. Yeah, that looked like a PCH short, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, let's check that quickly together, because as I had it before, Z270 was one of the builds that I ha most had that have dead PCHs, sadly. So let's go into resistance mode right here. And let's see, let's get a screw hole. Seriously. Seriously, another dead PCH. I was told that this board would have not a dead PCH, but would actually start and hang on a VGA LED. Let's get this processor out here. Let's see this again. Yep, and as you can see, there's too much current draw. So no, I've spent a little bit more time on this board and it is not only not only have we a short on the one volt phase for the PCH, but we also have a short circuit on the 3.3 volt volt phase, which is the phase that you can see there. And now look at the power consumption as soon as I'm touching this. Nine amps. This PCH is getting burning hot in that moment. I can't even hold it for a second on there with my finger on. So yeah, uh, this was this phase. I can show you the one volt phase again also. Let's put it on one fa one volt. So what I just saw, showed you was three VSB where it shorted and now this is the phase from one volt, which takes five amps at one volts. So yeah, sadly I got scammed on this one. Um, I just, I tried to confront the owner about this, asking him, hey yo, 
the you said the board was turning on in your case and um, you you had it stuck on VGA LED and the very first response that I had from him was I sold it as de defective and that's it. So <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure the owner was aware <laughs> of that this board is very dead and does nothing anymore and I sadly just got scammed. Um, Sadly, eBay won't do anything against it because he, as he said, uh, sold it especially as defective. And yeah, I won't go get my money back. It wasn't much, but still, I won't get my money back. And I sadly got scammed on this. It is very interesting that every time I have dead PCHs, it's always Z270. I don't know why, but I'm cursed with this platform. Oh yeah, and one more thing. This definitely didn't happen f uh, on me that this board was killed because this is the BIOS battery of it and this thing has zero volts. I can show it to you if I can. If we take our multimeter, let's have our multimeter here. Let's take the BIOS battery, just plug it in here because that's easier. And if you go onto there, you have nothing. Like I'm going on different guns to make sure I have a good connection, but there's just nothing. Which is also a very good indication of that this has had has a dead PCH for a longer time because it managed to discharge the whole battery. So, yeah, what can I say? Sadly, this is the loss that I need to take. And all that there is left for me on this board is the um, are the components on here because I won't be able to change out that chipset. So, yeah, sadly, the, this fix comes to an end. And be careful what you buy out there on eBay. You get scammed quite quickly and often you don't get your money back and can't do anything. But that's the way of trying to fix things, especially mainboards. This is the worst thing that can happen, sadly. But I hope you still learned something, enjoyed something. Be always sure there's two ways at least for a PCH to be shorted. One through the one volt phase, one through the uh, three VSB phase. Sometimes even through five VSB phase. And the good thing uh, that we saw again through the 5 VSB connected on our 12 volts adapter, we were able to see that there is something wrong instantaneously because of the current draw that we had. And it was pretty much a dead giveaway that the PCH on this one was dead. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. This has been Mainboard Medic. Thank you very much and goodbye.